Can you hold on? Parang I don't like this lighting. This I like, but let's go with this one. Hello, lovies! Welcome back to my channel, Hannah Eat, Pray, Love. So, I'm back and um, I have something very important to talk to you about. Okay, so medyo serious uh, mode tayo ngayon. So, etong topic na to that I'm going to introduce you to, it's very rampant these days. And uh, ako, personally, I'm very alarmed because parang left and right, people I talk to, eto palagi ang nagiging ending ng topic namin. How they want to, you know, express themselves regarding this struggle. So, I, 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 I would like to, ano lang din, to give somehow... I don't know how much this would help them, but this would be like a great way na din for me to glorify God and what He did in my life, healing me in this particular um, issue. Okay, so this is about depression and anxiety. So it's so rampant these days. As we all know, um, itong issue na to has been around for the longest time, but you know, people didn't have like a full idea about it you know like maraming tao kasi ang how do i say this in denial when they experience this or to some people parang hindi halata na no, pinagdadaanan sila they're not vocal um they're trying to carry this burden without you know having people around them help them we acknowledge that people are experiencing this needs our support and our help diba? they're not alone and personally I had a very um how do I say this parang kumbaga life changing experience about anxieties it was a terrible time it was so tough uh, I think this might be way back 2013 if I'm not mistaken basta in those days um ano to eh parang na trigger siya because I think a lot. I want to solve all of my problems right away. Um, I was very desperate to finding solutions. And at that time kasi, to tell you frankly, malaking factor yung hindi ko talaga kilala si Lord. You know, that's why I was going through such tough times because I did not know that I have a friend, I have a healer, I have a provider, I have a savior, and I have a master, you know. So, nung nakilala ko si Jesus Christ, of course, through reading the Bible, that's how it all changed for me. So, my story, ito na siya, ikukwento ko sa inyo how um, I had anxieties. Um, those times talaga, it was really hard for me because... I was going through a lot of difficult things in my life and then alcoholic pa ako. I, you know, I, I used to be super, super, ano eh, super alcoholic in those times, those days. Like, drink nights in a row and, um, talagang ano, that was fun for me at that time. And, ayun, umabot tayo sa limitasyon. So, inatake ako. I went to um, I went to a doctor to actually have clarifications on what happened to me. Kasi, um, uminom ako noon ng madami. And then, inabot kami ng umaga. So, morning came. I was really feeling super off. I was feeling like a hangover as early as that morning. Para na akong hinahangover. And I just wanted to get the feeling off. You know, so I ate. You know, I, I remember I had sinigang pa nga, you know. But hindi natanggal yung, yung weird feeling, yung parang hangover niya. My friend even told me, Hannah, you should have one more bottle, you know, para matanggal yung, kumbaga parang washing, ganoon. I had one bottle, but the, the feeling was still there. I still wasn't feeling any good. So I just decided to leave, to just go home. Maybe, you know, I could rest well when I'm home. 
like parang ako na ako confused talaga sabi ko nga I texted my friend sabi ko para ako na tutuliro so I just went down from the vehicle and then exacto I was right in front of a church so I went inside the church and I could still remember that the sermon was um something about don't be um kasi yung term dun sa Tagalog is wag kang mabalisa so I don't exactly know the, the English term for that, but you know, it was like God was trying to calm me down so that it won't worsen. So, hindi ako na, hindi ako na pakalma ng sermon na yon. I left, and then the attacks just kept getting worse. Um, I stopped over the LRT station because I wanted to call someone, pero wala ako na kana load. So, nagpaload ako to the point na parang nalilit, nakakalimutan ko na yung number ko. As in, super nalilito ka talaga. Parang, you know, you're, you're on the verge of probably losing your mind. Parang ganun talaga siya. So, um, I got my load. I called up a friend. And I asked him if he could fetch me. So, he fetched me from outside the village. He brought me home. And then they all thought maybe I was just hungry. Kaya siguro ako nagkaroon ng ganong attacks. But, um, the next day, uh, I consulted the doctor and I asked what ha- what just happened. I mean, that uh, was the first time I ever felt that awful. So, he told me it's a, uh, the doctor told me that it's a, a panic attack. So, I should be very careful about it. I should seek treatments and um, take medicines, papakalma um, and all that. But I decided that I don't want to be dependent with any drug and you know I, I I would find ways to manage it on my own lessening caffeine intake if not zeroing it out my whole day no caffeine and then I was smoking at that time so I stopped smoking and I would watch movies funny movies never stressful ones and I would sing I would paint imagine I painted just to get distracted so nakapagpaint ako talaga and then um, even one friend praised, you know, yung isa kong paid thing. So that's a product of my anxiety. And um, I wrote poetry. I dabbled into um, parang anything artistic. Parang ganon. So that helped. It did alleviate the attacks. And um, I got to control it. But of course, I'm not healed. Diba? What we all want is complete healing. So I didn't know what to do with it. I was, um, I didn't know what to do with it. I was just, um, para managing it on my own. If I, if I was feeling, alam mo yon, um, uneasy na naman, I would call up a friend so that I would get distracted. I even resigned from work because I was so afraid to get those attacks habang nagbabiyahe. Um, because people won't understand what's happening to you. So, I resigned from work and uh, yeah, I took some time caring for myself and there was this um, just one time that I was invited to a church, uh, it was Victory Church, so I got to hear uh, a pastor preach, it was really food for the soul, you just know that it, you know, it feels good listening and um, understanding the word of God. I said to myself, I've never heard God's teaching this way, it was so clear. It was so understandable. So I kept going, but I told myself, ah, hindi ako magpapakonvert. You know, no, they, they won't be able to convince me to convert. I won't stop praying to Mama Mary and stuff like that. Um, I was just convincing myself that I was just enjoying the preaching. I believe that, you know, this was the point where in everything started to change when I decided to buy a Bible. Because I was so moved by the preaching of this one pastor. So, I was so moved. I bought the Bible. I started reading it. I was so enthused in reading it. Sobrang, I've never felt anything like that before reading something. I just felt so loved. You know, for someone who's been single all her life. Um, it's, ano, it's almost all my life. Okay, let me correct it. I <laughs> But you know, I've been single for the longest time. Maybe it's already been about 10 years. Ganon, ganon mga friends. Tagal ko yung single. 
um, I thank the Lord for protecting me from, you know, from relationships that are not gonna be good for me. So I'm just still waiting for for my God's best. But for now, ito yung topic natin, balikan natin, no, wag si God's best. <laughs> so, I started reading the Bible, fell in love with Jesus Christ. I just felt His presence. Like, every time I read, I open the Bible. Even when I'm cooking, I feel like He's there. You know, He's watching over me. He's like uh, the best friend you've never had. Um, the father I never had because, you know, I was um, I was fatherless since 2008. Even way back, wala rin naman kaming that super close relationship with my father. So, I didn't really have much um, idea of um, of the father-daughter relationship. But when I read the Bible, I was slowly understanding what it feels like to have a father. So, I'm just so grateful. And, ayun, I was just enjoying reading the Bible until I just realized that I'm not getting attacks anymore. You know, God just heals you na hindi mo alam mo yun, I wasn't even praying hard about it na natanggalin niya yung sakit ko I wasn't really that keen on requesting on that I was just enjoying reading the Bible and just feeling His presence with me I think I finished the New Testament in less than a week that's how enthused, that's how interested that's how amazed I am with His words because it was so beautiful everything was so calming, it was so reassuring He is so loving Ano pa ba? But ayaw pang basahin yung Bible. <laughs> diba? I'm just so grateful that I have met him. Truly. Knew him. And I'm confident to say that he knows me. And he will always be there for me whenever I ask for healing. If I ask for clarity. If I ask for wisdom. You know, there's always someone listening to my prayers, to everything, even nonsense stuff, you know, nonsensical stuff that I, I'd like to share with him. I know he would still listen, no matter how shallow it is. I know he's there for me. He would he would still care to listen. So, if you don't have, I'm sure you don't have anything like that in your life. Kahit gano ka close mo, you know, sometimes family won't even do that for you. But, you know, God's love has no flaw. And... He will never let you down if you just understand His ways. I think you would just be feeling disappointed if if you don't know who God is, if you don't know how Jesus operates. So, ayun, it's best that you watch um, preachers um, so that someone could explain it to you. But most definitely, if you ask for the Holy Spirit, because you'll never understand the Bible, if the Holy Spirit won't come to help you understand because the things of the Spirit will only be known by someone who has God's Spirit and the Bible is something that's you know foreign to the flesh if you're living a, a life of carnality you will never appreciate what's there in the Bible but if you are willing to surrender everything to God and you truly want to know Him okay He will grant you His Spirit so that you could grasp and truly understand his word. Diba? So, there's hope. God is um, above everything. I'm just giving you hope that, you know, whatever you're going through, no matter what illness it is, no matter how terrible it is, no matter how gloomy things are, He loves you. He's just waiting. Huwag ka na kung saan-saan pa pumunta. Dumirekta ka na sa Kanya. And that's all I can really say. You know, um, God has been so good from the moment that I met him um, I understood who he really was from then to now he's been very faithful to his promises and he will be to you if you just start surrendering your life and accepting who Jesus is what he has done on the cross and how much he wants to help you and to guide you to move you to be the person that he has always wanted you to be he has a great plan for you you know ano ka lang eh um, you're just living your life your way, your own wisdom, which is for, compared to the wisdom of God is really nothing. Diba? Lean on His understanding, not your own understanding, because us humans are we're limited, 
you know, there's a certain point lang where we can see, you know, but God sees everything. So you really have to lean on Him and get to know Him. There's hope, there's joy, there's peace. He will always be there for you if you just follow Jesus Christ. He is the only cure. So I'm glad you listened today. Um, I hope uh, I hope that this helped you. Um, I just want to glorify God for all the things that He has done for me. And I just want to share His goodness. Uh, if you need help, I've actually started just recently a, uh, a Facebook page for... It's like a help group. So I made a depression and anxiety help group page. So you can check that out on Facebook. And if you need help, if you need someone to talk to, just go message um, and um, check out whatever is posted on that page. It might help. And I'm sure it will help. So, ayun. Okay, mawala ng pag-asa. Lahat yan pwede nyo mapagtagumpayan. You can triumph on anything as long as you have God with you. And um, I want to be of help as much as I can. So maybe if you would like to start a um, a help group na magkikita kita like if you want to make a schedule on on like a, a group meeting um I I'd love to explore that possibility so that we can all talk about um who is the cure and uh, definitely you know just making other people realize who has depression anxiety that they're not alone and there's people who actually went through it and triumphed through it and I'm a definitely a testimony to, to God's healing. His power to heal. His power to create new life in you. New hope. New love. New everything new. So, glory to God. Glory to Jesus Christ. Yeshua. Um, Yeshua Hamashiach. So, that's his Hebrew name. So, just in case you don't know, baka mawirdohan kayo, who's Yeshua? So, that's his Hebrew name. So, I love calling him by his real name. So I just find it really, really powerful. Ayun, siguro for now, all I can leave you with is uh, a prayer and hope that, you know, Jesus will always be there for you. He loves you, He cares for you, and He wants your healing. So we request now, Lord God, in your name, Yahashua, Hamashiach, that uh, everyone who's watching now is going through any type of illness, Lord God, that is bothering them, that's making life a, a huge struggle. Lord God, in your name, Yahushua, we ask for healing. Amen and amen. God bless. Bye.